Hi everyone. Uh, we're going to hold on. Let, let me turn the light on. That helps a little bit, doesn't it? We're going to just do a short video here. This is the ones that I did uh, a couple of days ago. These coasters, and I did the the dry mica and the. I don't know if you can see that up close, but the the mica got everywhere even though I tried to clean it and y'all saw uh, my attempt to clean it and it just it's almost impossible to do that <clears throat> but I decided to use the UV resin which I really don't like um, but I've got this nose thing going on now and so I thought I'd sort of hold off and yes, I'm mixing it because I'm going to mix a little bit. Now, UV resin does not like alcohol inks, okay? But I thought I would... Mix just a little bit to get some glitter. And this would probably be easier if I did this with epoxy resin. And I know this, but I wanted just... I wanted to get a video out today. But my nose won't stop running. Uh, my throat's not quite as sore. But I am stopped up. My head is totally stopped up. This is not open. Oop. See it popped. <laughs> Oh, lovely Tweedles. That is John and Ashley coming in. This house has been quiet as a mouse all day long. In a second, I decided to do a video up here. And yes, I'm upstairs, not downstairs. Uh, oh my. This resin is thick. I'm not used to resin being this thick. Can y'all see that? Alrighty, I had to stop for a minute. John and Ashley came in. Dan lost his phone today. Uh, he had it in his pocket, which he normally does not carry his phone in his pocket uh, because of this fear. And it it came true. The, the phone went into the pit, so he no longer has a cell phone. So we've, we're going to have to do something about that uh, fairly quick. And so they came They came in. I, I had tried to get a hold of Dan earlier, and, and he wasn't answering. And I knew something was up because he always answers when I call. And he normally would have already called me, um, and I hadn't heard from him. So I asked John and Ashley to swing by there when he picked Ashley up from school. And they had come in, and, of course, I, I've already started dumping this resin all over here. And basically, all we're going to do, since we have sunlight today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these outside. Instead of setting them up underneath the, the UV lamp, I brought that out here. But I figured I'm upstairs. It is sunny out today. So I figured I would go ahead and just put them outside and let them cure. I did add some of the, the rainbow alcohol, and I am trying to see uh, I like the sparkles. The sparkles uh, I don't have any alcohol. I don't have a lighter up here. I don't have anything to plus these bubbles with. But 
there's not a whole bunch of them actually which is we're surprised by yeah I am putting a little bit more Just making sure it's everywhere. I'm holding it up. Trying to see if there's any bubbles or anything. It's out to the edge. I'm sorry, you can't even see, can you? Um, but I'm having to hold it up to a certain degree. It is self-leveling pretty good. There's a bubble right there. that's pretty good okay I'm going to take this up now nope, see I, I messed up but I, I want to get it off the edges because yes I made the mistake by letting it drip down the edge which you don't want to do and trying to hold it up so y'all can see this is is not the easiest thing to do either So please just bear with me. Okay, I think that one's ready to go. So don't let me set it on top of this one. Oh, that would be bad. Okay. Now, I'm going to have a clean baby wipe. I don't like the fact baby wipes have hairs though, especially when you're dealing with resin. That's the last thing you want to get on your stuff and they do. They have little hairs that pop up on them. Okay, so let me, I'm looking in the light to see if I've got it. I think I've pretty much got this one covered. And you can still see the little holes, the little air bubble holes. They're still showing, but that's okay. Uh, okay, I'm going to take them outside, and I'm going to let them... Uh, I don't have anything to take them outside with. I have this. I really wanted to. I didn't want to have to. I mean, I'm not going to make you. Oh. Did I turn it off? I turned it off. I was. I was holding it wrong. Oh no. Oh, you see what I'm doing? Oh, I've messed it up. 
Oh yeah. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> oh wow. Oh wow. Okay. Do I purposely want to go through and Oh, this is bad, y'all. I've already messed this up. Yep, I have. <sighs> Look at that. Y'all see what I'm doing? Just that quick. You see that? Just that quick. But it was wrinkled, so there was no way I was going to leave it on there. Oh, my word. See, I should have just did what I said I was going to do. Take it outside. But I didn't. It's because I saw a little drip on the side, okay? And it was like, and then when I went to move it, it was attached. And now I've got a hair on here. And yeah, some of the resin. I'm telling you, I don't like UV resin. UV resin and I don't get along well at all. Look at that. That's how fast it can cure. That was fast. Okay, I'm gonna get a paper towel, see? I'll show you the real fun. That way you don't have to make the same mistakes I make. I do want to try the Let's Resin UV Resin. I might like that. It may not give me as much grief, which, you know, a lot of people like this resin that I've got, but, and it may just be me, you know? It's a very good possibility that it's just me. And so while we're doing this, I am going to cure this one. No, I can't. Not if I'm put... Uh-uh. No. See, I almost made the same mistake again. I almost turned the UV lamp on. come out real fast. Did I do that? Something that stinks. It may just be that I'm real sensitive. You know, I don't have a mask on, and I probably should have, even with the UV resin, y'all. So I can't make a short video. It should have been a five minute video right here. I 
wanted to go ahead and get these finished. I don't know. Perhaps I was going to give them to John and I actually. I really liked him. And things tend to just set downstairs. I never get finished if I don't do it right away. And I'm looking to see where the bubbles are. a bunch of them in here. I'm really not using as much UV resin as it looks like. I'm not putting a whole lot making sure that I don't have fish eyes forming on this. The way that I wiped it off that very well could happen. It's starting to look better. But it does have the bubbles. At this point I don't think a few bubbles is going to make a difference. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to stop this until I get them cured and then I'll come back and show, the, show them when they're done. Alright, see you in a few. Hi, I'm back. It's been a while. Uh... <clears throat> I know this is sort of a short little video, but uh, I wanted to get something up. Uh, I didn't feel like doing a, a full project. My nose won't stop running. But this is what this is what they look like, and I hope you can see. I, I trimmed the edges in the silver deco art pen, which I absolutely love these. Uh, they're wonderful. And I hope you can see the glitter in them. And uh, I will be taking a picture outside so you can see. And I did cure these outside. I just set them on my porch. Uh, and just let them cure in the sunshine. And I did sand the edges down. To get the rough spots off. And the edges are done in silver. And the backs are white. Uh, yeah, the back is white. Um, but yeah, so these are the finished products. I just wanted you to see them finished because though when I did them before, uh, I was talking about doing a top coat, but I never finished them. So these are the finished products. And uh, I'm going to let John and Ashley have these. Uh, there's two of them, and, and they both really liked them. So that's where they're going to go. And uh, I'm going to try these once again. And because I had the little syringes, I'm actually going to try to do the uh, the color shift in with regular resin. Yeah, I'm going to try it. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I thought this was fiddly. Uh, that's even going to be worse. But I'm, I'm going to try to do it with um, using the little syringes with the, the resin with the color shift uh, mica in the resin. And see how it will come out that way because um, these are really cool and I think they'd be really cool with the color shift and this one does have a slight color shift 
but you can't see it. You can't see it uh, as well as you should be able to. And you can't see this one at all. Uh, but it's still very pretty. The uh, This stuff right here, if y'all have not used this, say I have, <clears throat> I'm sorry, my voice is just real. <clears throat> uh, I've got a lot of drainage going on. I did finally, I, I've got, I took allergy pills and I actually used the flow nose. I don't like taking anything, so I hadn't taken any of that in a while, but the season's changing and <clears throat> that's probably something to do with this is my allergies acting up really bad, but Dawn was the first one to get me this off of Amazon and it's the Marabou Rainbow Alcohol uh, ink. I, I absolutely love this. If you've not tried it, I would suggest you get some right now at Michael's. Thank you, Rose, for letting me know. Uh, and, and she sent me one, too, in the package from yesterday, which is awesome. Um, but Michael's has it for $4.97 right now, uh, which is a good price. Uh, it's a, almost half the price of what it is on Amazon. But, of course, you have to you have to pay for shipping on uh, Michael's if you order less than $49. So it might be just as cheap, ultimately, on Amazon if you have Prime because it's free shipping and, it, and you get it in two days. So it's either, you know, wherever you do most of your shopping. Okay, I lost part of the video and I'm going to have to splice this together, I think. We're back at the, uh, the comment picker for the second drawing. Uh, I am going to say uh, the winner yesterday was over in UK, and I am going to send her the package. Um, and if somebody from the UK does win, I will go ahead and send them a, a, a bag of jewelry. It's probably just going to be the less amount, because to send a pound of jewelry uh, to the UK or overseas is, is quite expensive. Uh, but I am going to do it for um, the first winner because I did not specify. And I don't like coming in after the fact and changing it up. But uh, this winner, if, they, if they're not stateside, they will still get something. It will, not be, it will not be this bag. It will be a little bit smaller bag. Uh, but you you will still receive a bag. And it's only because the cost of the shipping um, is, is so high. The difference is it costs like $4 stateside and it costs almost $20 uh, internationally. So, uh, this right here, I just want to show you. This is the, oop, this is the channel, uh, the, that's the YouTube uh, link for that specific uh, video. Of course, I've got add, comment, replies. And the word mystery is on here, okay? There's one winner. It's got the YouTube. So we're going to, it's got the YouTube comments. I'm sorry, my nose won't stop running, y'all. <clears throat> we're going to start. Okay, Gloria M. I do not know who this is, but Gloria Wim? No, no. Oh, I am so sorry. Gloria M, uh, please uh, send me your address um, to my email, anniestudioclayart at gmail.com. I think I said that right. If I've got it wrong, uh, it's my email is underneath my description, so you can get it there. All right, and this is the bag that I will be sending out to you. Uh, it's just a mixture of uh, earrings, bracelets, uh, necklaces, and I think there's one or two of the stretch band rings in this one. I'm not sure. Um, so, that will be going out. And, I really wish you could see. It's, oh, okay, now you can see. Can you see the sparkle in here? Because the sparkle is just awesome in these things. 
I love the sparkle. Um, and I did take pictures outside, and it looks so different. Oh, you can see the sparkle. The, the color in this camera is not good. Unless you take it outside, then the color pops, and you can see the true colors outside. Uh, so I did do a, a photograph. I am not showing you. I look horrible. Uh, I still got my pajamas on while I'm doing this video. <clears throat> but I wanted to, and I don't like talking where you can't see me, but I'm not going to show myself right now at all. Um, and I know this is uh, just a, a short little, well, it's not short because I can't shut up, but I, it was just me finishing up the, the coasters. Uh, because I wanted to throw something up here, and I'm hoping maybe I'll feel better enough tomorrow to um, do something. I woke up this morning with every uh, thought of, of getting it uh, something done, but the, as the morning progressed, the, the worse I felt. So, <clears throat> um, I'm sorry, please forgive me. <clears throat> Uh, I've got a lot of drainage is what's causing it, and it may be allergies. I'm hoping it's just allergies. Uh, John and Ashley right now are at the store getting me some Dayquil, so I'm hoping maybe that will help me feel a little bit better. I cannot take NyQuil. It will knock me out, and, and I will be asleep for days. Um, but same thing with Tylenol. You give me two Tylenol, and, and it knocks me right out, too. I don't take medicine. I just don't do it. I've been very blessed, and I'm very, very thankful that I've not had to take medicine. Um, but when I do, it, it has a real weird uh, effect on me. So, um, I hope y'all are doing great. I hope you're um, feeling good. I hope none of you are uh, dealing with allergies or sinuses or colds or anything else right now. Um Ashley is trying to call me. Ashley, I'm trying to do a video. Uh, and I can't stop. Okay, I can't. I'm sorry, y'all. Hold on just a minute. I can't stop it. What? That's fine. Just get that. Did you find the day quill? All right. Love you too. Bye-bye. I'm sorry, what? Yes. Uh, actually, what? what is it? I've got to go. I'm on a video. I forgot what I was saying. I'm sorry. Uh, she was asking me. Sure. Okay, that's John calling me now. I'm sorry, y'all. Hello. I'm doing a video. I do. Just the normal. Alrighty. Thank you. Bye-bye. Alrighty, y'all. I forgot what I was saying. Uh, he was asking me about the day quill. He didn't know which one to get. Um, okay. I forgot. My mind just went blank. So, I guess I'm going to end this video. And, oh, I was... <laughs> yes. See? I was saying I hope y'all are doing good, and I hope none of you are dealing with any colds or sinus or, or allergies. Uh, it is the time of the year for this. And, of course, Little Ben was over here last weekend, uh, last Sunday, and, and he went home Monday, and, and he he wasn't feeling really good. So it may be where uh, I got whatever he had which is okay, because I love my grandbaby, so if I have to endure a cold or a head cold, or, you know, that, that's okay with me. Alrighty, I'm, <laughs> I'm just yapping, and so I'm going to end this. Uh, I, I think I'm going to go grab me a, a cup of hot tea and uh, lay on the couch and 
go watch YouTube. <laughs> I hope y'all have a fantastic night, and uh, I hope to see you tomorrow. And I'm hoping I'll feel good enough to uh, do a craft project. Oh, and I want to leave you with this. I'm thinking, I want y'all to tell me what you think about this. I want everybody that sees us to leave a comment down there. Not just one or two. I want to hear from everybody. I'm still waiting for that Facebook group name, y'all. But I want to hear everybody's comment, thought on what if I change my YouTube name from Southern Lady to Southern Lady Creations. That way it covers sort of what it's for. It's not just one thing. It, it can be anything that's created. So y'all let me know what you think about that. Alrighty. Uh, I'm going to go for now and I'll see you again real soon. Bye-bye.